Hi, I'm Rich Harvey, buyer's agent and CEO of Property Buyer. We're witnessing an extraordinary turnaround in demand with boom time conditions. Recall that just 12 months ago in March 2020, we were receiving the first dramatic headlines warning that the economic shockwaves that COVID-19 was bringing. Well, the pendulum has swung fully back the other way, and we're now looking at price rises of at least 10% this year and a further 10% in 2022. In fact, prices have already jumped 10% in some suburbs compared to November and December last year. What was selling for 2 million is now selling for 2.2 or even more. At open houses, we're seeing long queues to get in the front door, and several of the houses I inspected on the weekend had 70 groups through. At auctions, we're witnessing registrations of 20 or more bidders, which in my career as a buyer's agent is unprecedented. Auction clearance rates are back to boom time levels. Last weekend, they were 90% in Sydney and 82% in Melbourne. In private treaty negotiations, we're seeing very aggressive buying behaviour. Buyers are scrambling over each other to make offers on a very limited pool of offerings and making offers at the first house. So what's driving this market and will it continue long term? One of the big differences in this property boom is that it's primarily driven by owner occupiers rather than investors. In previous booms, investors have been the ones that have been speculating in bricks and mortar and created an unsustainable rate of growth. Well, in this latest boom, it's driven by three main factors. Firstly, rock bottom interest rates, which is creating greater borrowing capacity. Secondly, pent up demand coming out of COVID as buyers seek improved homes, more office space, upgraded lifestyle locations without having to commute. And number three, a low volume of overall property listings. Here's my three tips to help you get perspective on the market. Firstly, understand where prices are at. Prices are just back to their peak 2017 levels. And as this boom continues, we'll start to see new records set on a weekly or monthly basis, which means new precedents are set within each suburb. Now these new precedents mean a reset of median prices for virtually every suburb during a boom time. But it often takes buyers considerable time to understand the dynamic of a local market. And by that time, they may have missed the boat or been priced out of an area. Secondly, don't catch FOMO, fear of missing out. Instead, continue to search for the ideal property, set your limited auction, and work within your affordability range. And thirdly, don't wait too long to get into the market. I'm regularly asked if it would be a better idea to just sit on the sidelines for a while and wait and see what happens. Well, my reply is this. Sure, you're welcome to take a break from property searching, but if you wait another six months, expect to pay 10% more. My recommendation is to buy sooner rather than later, but only if the property fits what you need for the long term. I know it's really tough out there and it's a frustrating and stressful ride. So if you'd like a leg up and someone to support you at each stage of the buying process, then please reach out and speak to my team of buyers agents. We'd be delighted to help you. I'm Rich Harvey. Thanks for watching.